What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and Project Snowball. I'm uh, standing here in the middle of the floor and uh, taking the fuel pedal out so I can do bed liner properly in here. Um, thought I'd show you guys how to take the accelerator pedal assembly off because a lot of people ask that, you know, this the pin in it here seizes up and then the pedal will stick or whatever. So, uh, it's, it's not terribly difficult, but it does take two people. So, um, I've already got most of it off here and then decided to, to kind of show you this, but, uh, this is your accelerator linkage here. And, uh, this goes up through the floor here, connects to the bottom of the pedal there. This, um, goes in there like so, and this pin goes through. You have to take this off to get the pedal off. Well, not not to get the pedal off. You do have to take this rod loose, which is just a um, cotter pin through there. Um, but if you want to get this bracket off, which I am, so I can get um, these two bolts over here out. That way I can do the whole floor. And if I ever need to take this out again, I won't have to break the bed liner to get the bolts off. Um, but you've got to take that off of the pedal, and then if you look down here, you'll want to take, probably want to take the uh, speedometer cable support uh, loop clamp off, which is a 9 16 here and here. Get that out of the way. And then you look down here, it's just two 7 16 nuts. They're lock nuts now. And the real pain in the ass part about them being lock nuts is that up here on the floor those are Phillips screws which are of course full of paint and they always are and uh, who knows how old they are and they're lock nuts um, they're they're really a huge pain to get out um, I've never had one just come right off easy uh, but once you do get these off and, and, you know, sometimes you might have to, like, take a grinder or something and just uh, grind down the heads or, or cut them off without, you know, being careful not to cut into the floor. But, you know, with everything, with the motor and all installed in here and the transmission in the way, it's really kind of difficult to get to. Uh, and it does take two people. Uh, one up here and one underneath. Uh, unless you've got the floor out and the transmission off or out, then... Or, you know, maybe even with just the floor pan out in the center, you can get your hand under here. But I, I don't know. I've never, never tried it that way. So, um, and once you get it off, I mean, you know, the, the pedal is supposed to swivel and the bracket is not. So, what you've got to do is properly support it in a press or something and either knock or press that pin out and try not to break the ears off that because that's aluminum. So, uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching this guys i hope it helps you and uh we'll see you later